All right, and welcome to Coffee, Chocolate, and Cocktails with Orlando Moms Blog. We are starting this Facebook Live series um, so that way we can talk about the three things that keeps moms motivated and going every day. You know, <laughs> like your morning coffee, your hidden chocolates, you know, like the, the, good, the ones. good stuff. The good yeah. ones. Yeah. And then, of course, our evening cocktail. Afternoon cocktail, or, you know, three, because we don't judge. No judging. <laughs> no judging. So every few weeks, we're going to bring you a craft, a recipe, or just a little mom time chit chat focused on one of our three C's. So we want you to grab your favorite right now and join us. Cheers! Got mine. <laughs> so in this week's episode, we are going to... Yeah? Yeah, you All right. that one. All right. In this week's episode, we're going to lean into some of those stereotypical stay-at-home mom, you know, stereotypes that we've got there. You know, when your husband, you know, walks out the door and he's like, don't be sitting around eating bonbons all day. And it's like, bonbons? bonbons? Who has time for bonbons? Like bonbons. I don't have time for that. <laughs> However, we are going to make some delicious looking bonbons. <laughs> and these aren't just any bonbons. No. These are red wine and coffee infused chocolate bonbons. We're hitting them all right from the beginning. Uh-huh. Right from the beginning. So while we are making these bonbons, we are also going to tell you about our favorite shows to sit around and binge watch, you know, while we're eating our bonbons and not doing anything productive as a stay-at-home mom. No, no. <laughs> So, but how about we introduce ourselves first since this is our first video. Christy, do you want to go ahead and start? Sure thing. So I'm Christy and I am the founder of Orlando Moms Blog and Orlando Moms Blog is a part of City Moms Blog Network. Hashtag shameless blog. <laughs> City Moms Blog Network. So they're nationwide and there's like 70 some sites right now nationwide. So it's pretty cool. We're the Orlando extension of City Moms Blog Network. But as a mom, I am a mom of within, you know, all of the contributors at Orlando Moms Blog. I've got some of the older kids. I've got some, uh, I've got a middle schooler. She's 13. And then I've got two high schoolers. Uh, my middle is 16 and my oldest is 18. What? I have an 18 year old. No. I, I do. I oh do. I don't know where the time went, but yeah, so I have an 18 year old at home. Hmm. Well, I'm Anne Marie. I am the social media coordinator for Orlando Moms Blog, as well as a writer and podcaster for the Universe Box Podcast Network. Hashtag shameless plug. <laughs> In the mom category, I also have three kids, but mine are sort of of the medium range. I have three in elementary school, nine, seven, and five, and man, do they keep me on my toes and needing my cocktails. Or three. Or three. <laughs> now, how about we get to those uh, bonbons? What yeah, definitely. So we're going to be we're going to be sharing you um, right now, kind of like a, a you know flyby a recipe here mm -hmm. for for our bonbons. And so um, we're going to have all of the entire um, recipe up on Orlando Mom's blog. So make sure that you go after we're done here. Actually, might be tomorrow. Maybe yeah. this week. We will have the recipe up and we'll let you know. We'll make sure that we post it on For Facebook sure. and other social media um, to let you know of the full entire um, recipe. Um, but we want to warn you, this recipe, it does, it does take a, a while. Like it's, 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 it's one that really you know, long. It, it does take a while, but it's worth every every second and good things come to those who wait, right? Absolutely. Good things do come to those who wait. <laughs> now, first we're going to gather our ingredients. So let me give you a little quick overview of what we are going to need. First, you're going to need some heavy whipping cream. You're going to need some instant coffee. I know no one likes instant coffee, but it's good for cooking. You're going to need vanilla extract, unsalted butter, some sea salt, some coconut oil, Oh, and of course, the two stars of our show, dark chocolate and really dark red wine. <laughs> Yum! I may have started in on mine already, but that's okay. That's okay! <laughs> so, um, the first step to making the red wine infused ganache is to bring the cream to a roaring boil and then um, whisking in the instant coffee until it's combined together. And then we'll pour this mixture over half of the chocolate, which has been chopped up in this bowl. TV magic. So, um, one minute. We're just gonna heat this guy up. It's only a half a cup, so it doesn't take very long yep. to get going. We didn't think ahead on this one. 
said, but it's time it's to drink wine already. already. <laughs> so much TV magic we can do. Okay, so let me fix in our coffee. Mmm, it's a, really, it smells delicious. Just adding the coffee to the cream. Yum. Get a little bit. I dissolve those coffee crystals. Super good. I need to buy some instant coffee. It's really baking. cheap at like Aldi and other stores like that where you can get this big canister and you're not going to use it very often so it's going to last quite a while. Mm -hmm. Almost there. Almost all the smell. Oh, I love it. Alright, so anybody watch, I want to know, like, does anybody have any like favorite red wine? Like what's your favorite red, red wine? I love Pinot Noir. Like that's probably my favorite red wine. Alright, here we go. Incoming. Are you done? Okay. Incoming. Incoming. Mm -hmm. So let, we're going to let him sit. Yeah, get it all pushed down in there. Okay. Maybe let's get a, get a little bit of the side of here. Just a little bit more. Make sure we get all the cream. Mmm. Mmm. So that good. That smells really good. Does it? Okay, it does so we have two really minutes. Good. All right, two minutes. We have two minutes until we can do anything else. So, I, my name is Amory, and I am a binge watchaholic. <laughs> Hi, Amory. So, Christy, are you a binge watchaholic too? Um, I like to watch TV shows, like we'll record seasons, my husband and I will record um, quite a few, uh, like right now we've recorded um, the 24 series, it's the new one, it's not as good. It's with, not the 24 series. I know, it's not. It's just the same guy. It's the same, but we still watch it, because we were really faithful 24 watchers, you know, before, uh, but um, Designated Survivor is a new one, so we'll watch that together, but so like that's all the shows that I'll watch with my husband, and then after he goes to bed, I binge watch Chopped. Because I'm a terrible cook. I am a terrible You're cook. You're not a terrible cook. No, I am cook. A, I have one, one good meal that I can make. But other than one that, thing. one. What is it? A seafood boil. And that's not even really cooking. <laughs> it's not recipes. It's nothing. But I tell you what, it's a mean seafood boil. And it is like, you know, it's really good. People yes. come over and well, there you go. we drink wine all night long with our seafood boil. Drink wine and eat seafood. <laughs> there we go. So, but anyhow, yeah. So chopped. Is okay. my binge watching at night, like almost every night before I fall asleep. See, I have been binge watching since I was in elementary school. Thank you, sick days and mom's homemade couch bed and summer vacation when, you know, you really can't get up and moving every single day of summer vacation. So mm -hmm. I watch way too much Little House on the Prairie. Oh, I love Law that. And, right? Yeah. So good. Law and Order. Um... Movies. I would binge watch not even just oh, TV. Yeah. I would binge watch like Disney movies over and over and over. I you know. I, I, I watched no Annie. <gasps> oh. So I didn't watch different movies over and over again. I would watch the same movie over and over again. Nice. Annie. Over and, and over. over. And yeah. Over. I think I watched it like three times in a row when I was homesick one day. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> my kids have even taken on the binge watching. They have been watched any excuse me any sort of cooking show. They're obsessed with. Oh, two minutes is up. All right. I need my spatula to stir. Oh, you do I need your spatula. I took your spatula. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, please. Give her a stir. All right. Ooh, my okay. Goodness. Is it? Oh, it's melting really good. So what we're doing right now is we're stirring the good, delicious chocolates mm. in with that warm cream that oh, we had to goodness. start melting it. It smells really, really good. It smells good. really good. Now, while that, it takes a minute or two. A minute, and then we are going to add our red wine and our vanilla. Is it gotten there? Almost. 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 Doop, doop, doop. Mm. Oh my goodness. So good. So, so very good. All right. All so right. you're going to add We're in. We're going to add in. We'll add the vanilla. Mm -hmm. Keep stirring him. That'll. That's going to get it all incorporated and perfect. Just in case you've like just tuned in, we are making red, red wine and coffee infused bonbons. Chocolate bonbons. Chocolate bonbons. Because stay at home mom stereotype bonbons watching TV. Mm -hmm. We'll have the full recipe up on the blog just in case you're just now tuning in. So we'll have the full mm -hmm. recipe up. Here is the red wine. The red wine. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is the bowl that you hide. This from is the yeah. Kiddos. This is not. This, this is not a kid friendly recipe. This is a mom friendly. Mom recipe. friendly. Oh, yum. Okay. So this is going to. Oh, then we add in. Yeah. Sorry, then I forgot gonna, one more thing. Yep. Then we're gonna have to pull this really 
cooled down really quick. We're going to add in our butter, which is gonna make it nice and luscious and delicious because it's going to make it, whoops. I'm spraying chocolate on Christy, that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. So, I don't mind. I, I, you know, I didn't think you would. No. I didn't think you would. <laughs> so now this is going to go in the fridge for four hours. Yeah, four Are hours. We, we'll be, you're fine. Are get we going to be in. Facebook Live for four hours? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> We've got plenty of wine, right? <laughs> All right, so... I want to know more about like some of like while we're waiting for that like just sure. binge watching shows and such. Okay, so my top three that I'm current or that I that I would recommend to somebody who's like I need a show to binge watch uh, would be Grey's I mean, Anatomy. Yes. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't love? There's 13 seasons. But I'm not caught up, so do not spoil it right now. Do not give us any spoilers. I need Please to finish don't. watching. We gotta get season. caught up. Yeah. Then there's <laughs> Gilmore Girls. As, as I never you, really got into it, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Team I'm Jess. Sorry. Team I'm Jess, sorry. and I will fight anybody who says Team Dean because you're just wrong. Uh, <laughs> and then there's The West Wing, which I'm watching for the zillionth time to go along with the, the West Wing Weekly podcast. Yep. Yep. Oh, Crystal over in the chat is saying Parenthood because she's completely obsessed. Ooh, parenthood. Love it. Even like This Is Us, like I didn't start it originally, and so I have been more, you know, like watching it, catching up on it, and mm -hmm. wow, now like whenever I see all of those posts on Facebook about, oh, you know, and I'm like, now I understand and get I get it. it, but I'm not caught up either. Seriously? What am I going to do with you? <laughs> give me, give me, I don't know. That's it, we need a weekend to watch TV I do. and drink wine. I do. <laughs> with some bonbons. Bonbons! <laughs> okay. So, let's see. What's next? Oh, it's time for some TV magic. Are you oh, ready? How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? I don't know. TV magic, TV magic, TV magic, Four TV magic. Later. Four hours later. <laughs> and in a different bowl, we have our chocolate bonbon mix ganache mixture. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your cookie scoop or a spoon or something like that. And you're going to get a nice, well-packed scoop like that and I just threw chocolate ganache and you're going to put it out on a cookie sheet Boop. and you're going to do that scoop through all of your ganache mm -hmm. and then you're going to put it back in the fridge for 20 more minutes no I want to eat it now like you want to eat it now really really good oh <laughs> well that's okay because while we wait we are going to whip up the outer layer for our bonbons yum so what you're going to do is you're going to add you're going to take some chocolate, you're going to take your coconut oil, and you're going to take a little bit of salt, and you're going to heat it and melt it until it looks, no, it's not over there, it's over here, it was over there. Oh, no, it's <laughs> This is when the 20 minutes later fails you. It should be melty right now. <laughs> it's okay. usually it's okay. very drippy When chocolate. you make it, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be like really creamy. It's good, yeah. It's gonna be a coating. Yes. So you'll take the you'll take after twenty minutes. Twenty minutes later. You'll take the. Um, you're going to take your bonbons, bonbons, which are gonna look like this, just a cute little blob of bonbon. You're gonna put it on your fork, bloop, and put it in your bowl of chocolate, and you're going to cover it with the chocolate until it looks something like. Hold on, I got this. This. <laughs> Magic. Magic! It is all covered with that nice smooth chocolate. Now, you may want to top it with something. A little sprinkle, a little extra salt, sugar, or maybe a fun little crystal like that. Just, just to give moms. it a little, just to be festive, and that way you can mark maybe mom's treats versus the kids' treats. Ooh, so That's a good idea. Mmm, chocolate. So good. Yeah. But once you cover them, you're going to want to put them back in the fridge for just a few minutes so that that outer edge can harden really good. And uh, then enjoy those during nap time or when the kids are at school or after bedtime. What do you Find, think? you know, like a, an empty frozen corn bag. Yeah. Rinse it out and then like put all, put them all your in there. Put them all in there. Put them in the freezer. You know, mom's, you know. Because your kid's not going to get in the freezer. Cauliflower bag. Perfect. Cauliflower. Yeah. Absolutely. 
<laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for following along and for joining us um, on our Facebook Live uh, coffee and chocolate and cocktails live stream. <laughs> and make sure that you like follow along on, on our social, social media. media. And we'll be announcing the next one. And throughout the season, we'll be doing things focused on, you know, like maybe There's what's going on. Um, some different events. Events maybe. that we're doing. Or maybe Cinco de Mayo is coming up. Oh, <laughs> um, also, if you're looking to meet some other moms in the Orlando area, tonight is a great opportunity. We are hosting a mom's night out at KT Artistry, where there will be some delicious treats from Three Girls Bakery. I believe they're all like vegan and organic, delicious like brownie bites and cupcakes and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And we're going to be painting uh, wooden signs for decorating your house. So go ahead over to Orlando Mom's blog on Facebook, or I think it's on the site too, mm -hmm. when you can uh, get your ticket for that too. You can take your wine too. Bring your wine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yum. Bring your wine. I've got mine. I've got mine. All right. <laughs> Thanks uh, so much. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Bye. Bye.